This is the Tier Blackhawk, one of the most popular goggles on the market. And this is the Tier Stealth. According to the internet, it doesn't exist. So today we're going to be looking over these two pairs of goggles. Now, not these specific pairs for close-ups and whatnot. We're going to be looking at my personal pairs because these two are actually being given away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can enter in that. So for now, let's talk about the goggles. So both of these goggles, the Stealth and the Blackhawk, are very, very similar in a lot of the features they have in their price range. Stealth being at $20 and the Blackhawks at only $15. So let's talk about some of the differences and why this one is so popular and this one isn't. So the Blackhawks come in a variety of colors and not just the base colors, but they also have a female and a kid's version of the goggle, even coming in prescription lenses. They come in mirrored and clear versions, all sorts of different colors, blue, red, green, even a patriotic color scheme. So these are definitely very customizable. And to go with that, the goggles come with five different size nose pieces. So these goggles are gonna be pretty good for you no matter what kind of colors you like or what size face you have. To go along with that, these have Tears DuraFit gaskets. Now Tears is very well known for their gaskets and how comfortable they are. These goggles in specific have very, very thick gaskets. These, so these DuraFit gaskets, I don't know everything about how they're made, but they make for a really, really comfy fit and really good suction without having to really press on your eyes and make them all red. They just fit on your face really, really comfortably, and you can leave them there for a long time without having to worry about your eyes getting sore or anything like that. Keep in mind with the Blackhawks, especially with ones uh, with a similar color scheme to these, with these silver ones, the tinting goes all the way around the goggles, but there's actually a line around the front, and past that line, all of this is blacked out, and it's a lot more obvious on different color schemes where this is all blue or red or something like that, but on these, it can be really deceiving to make you think you can see all the way over here when you can't. So that's one of my big gripes about these goggles, especially because on the packaging, they're marketed as wide peripheral range goggles. And while I won't say these aren't the worst goggles I've ever used for peripherals, they really don't have that much because these goggles are angled off at the front, meaning you get a little bit of distortion at that angle mark and then past that, it's a lot wider of an angle rather than a really smooth transition like some other goggles where the whole thing is rounded on this side. The goggles are angled off on the sides, so there is a little bit of distortion where that line is. Um, but like I said, I'm really not a big fan of the peripherals for these goggles. Other than that, these are really great all around goggles, especially for a $15 price range. I think they're really comfy and really good training goggles. I personally wouldn't use them as racing goggles because they're not super low profile. Um, the goggles themselves are pretty small, but these gaskets are really, really thick. Now that's good and bad because it makes them really comfortable and really good suction for long periods of time. But for racing, I really, I wouldn't use these and I don't recommend them. The other thing is as previously mentioned, these peripherals. For me, when I'm racing, obviously it's a race against myself and against my own times, but I do like to see what other people are doing around me because if I know someone's faster than me, I might want to keep pace with them. As far as training goes, I only have one gripe, which is this tinting is really, really dark. Out of all the colors this comes in though, I have to say I'm a little bit sour that they don't come in this fogged look because I've grown really partial to these over the last couple of months that I've been training with them. I think it's a really nice in between between this really dark tinted look and the totally clear because I don't really like people seeing my eyes. I think the goggles look goofy like that. I think it looks like a bug. However, I do like them to be a little bit tinted so I'm not getting blinded by the sun. Moving on to the stealth goggles, these boast a lot of the same great features as the Blackhawks. They have tiers, Durfit gaskets, and once again, very, very comfy. They, they aren't quite as large or as thick as the Blackhawks, so I will say the Blackhawks are a little bit more comfy for a very long period of time, but to our practices, I've been wearing these for months and months and months, and they are super, super comfy. I mean, these have lasted me through dozens, probably even hundreds of practices, and I have no complaints as far as the comfort goes. The next thing these have that the Blackhawk actually doesn't have is a lot wider peripheral range which I think is interesting because on the packaging of these, you'll notice peripheral vision is not something that is advertised well on the Blackhawks it does. Even though they both have the angular shape on the front, these ones, the tinting goes back all the way. There's no blacked out mark. And so even though it's a little bit distorted, you can still see much, much farther with these than the Blackhawks. Now, on that same subject of kind of the peripheral vision and just vision in general, these come in a fog lens. Now, as far as I know, they only come in the fog lens in only two colors, which is the all black one I have here 
and the black and red one we're giving away. So as far as customization goes, they don't have nearly as many options as the Blackhawks and they come with four nose pieces as opposed to the Blackhawks 5. Now, for someone with me with a pretty standard sized face, maybe a little bit smaller than average, the four nose pieces did just fine. I believe I'm running the small size nose piece on here. And like I said, these work great for me. They're super, super comfortable. With these fog lenses, like I said before, I've become really, really partial to these. I've really grown to love them over time. At first, I wasn't too sure because when I put them on, you can just barely see my eyes through them. And I'm not really a big fan of that. However, especially during night practices, you really can't see unless you're really, really squinting and really trying to see me in there. But for the most part, these give you that same blacked out, no eye look that a lot of people like to wear. And like I said, they're great for day or nighttime practices. Not too dark, not too bright. I really like the fogging on these. And when I say fogging, I don't mean on the inside. I mean the tinting. As far as fogging on the inside goes, I should mention that the Stealth have anti-fog coating while the Blackhawks do not. Now, I don't really trust anti-fog coating on any goggles. I've never had a pair of goggles that really had long lasting anti-fog. So I use a little bit of instant anti-fog. I just spray it in my goggles before practice, every two to three practices, and this keeps me pretty fog free. I use the Arena brand because it's the best I've found, but I believe Tier, Nike, Sporty, pretty much any brand that makes goggles also makes anti-fog. I went a good two to three weeks with these before they fogged up for the first time, whereas I didn't even go a full five minutes with these before they fogged up to the point that I couldn't see. Now again, I never judge a goggle by its anti-fog. Anti-fog on all goggles is going to be a little bit faulty. However, I've never seen it wear out quite as fast as I did on these. One last note on the Stealth goggles, they come in this plastic reusable case as opposed to the Blackhawks uh, cardboard and plastic case. This you just throw out, whereas this is totally viable as a reusable case. I don't highly recommend it because it's made of plastic and so your goggles can still get scratched up and thrown around in there. However, it's better than nothing and for the $5 extra you're paying, I'd say this is a worthy inclusion. So now that we've kind of gone over the base of what makes these goggles good and bad, why is it that the Blackhawks are so much more popular than the Stealth, even though they have a lot of the same features? The answer to this is pretty simple, Those are almost impossible to find. Amazon, Swim Outlet, Tier itself, the makers of these goggles, you cannot buy them online anywhere. Bing, Yahoo, Google, you won't even find images of these. Why they've turned into some sort of ghost of goggles, I don't know. So how did I get my hands on not just one, but two pairs of these, my personal pair and the one we're giving away. My personal pair right here, I bought these in Florida in the Walmart in their swim section. During our trip to Yuma for a swim meet recently, once again, found a pair in Walmart. Here we are in Yuma, Arizona, and uh, in store in Walmart once again, and look at this, tear stealth goggles. I'm telling you guys, these things are ghosts. I don't know what and of course this pair that I'm giving away found it in Walmart right here in California and in a couple different Walmarts but obviously I only bought one pair well I can't guarantee that every Walmart in the world is going to carry these stealth goggles I would take these over the Blackhawks any day of the week these have been my personal training goggles for months I trust them more than any other goggle to stay on my face during dives to never leak during my swim and with a little bit of help from Marina to never fog during hours of practice time. If you are able to find these in your local Walmart, I highly suggest you pick them up. If you're not, that's okay, because you still got a chance to get, well, I can't guarantee stealth goggles will be in every Walmart. You still have a chance to get some through me. As I said before, we're giving away a pair of Blackhawks and stealth goggles through my channel very soon. If you don't enter in the giveaway, or if you do enter and don't win, then you can hit me up on Instagram at any time. I'll go to my local Walmart, pick you up a pair of these and sell them back to you. No profits made, just at the price of the goggles themselves and shipping out to you. Because I love these goggles and I think more people should be using them.